Welcome back to Pro Chef Academy and today we're going to talk about the white, the blonde and the brown roux. Okay, that's what they're classically known as and this is a classic uh, thickening agent that we use in a uh, kitchen every day. So as you can see here in, in the foreground here we have uh, two items. We have flour and we have a fat which in this instance here is butter. So a roux is made of a combination of fat and flour mixed together okay and there's three degrees then of cooking uh, which are namely there your white your blonde and your brown roux okay so white roux then is generally used for uh, soups white sauces vegetables which is another name for white sauce again and what we want then is equal quantities of flour margarine that are cooked together for a few minutes until we get a nice sandy texture Okay. Moving on from that then, the next one then would be our uh, blonde roux. So our blonde roux is generally used then for like velouté's, again soups and tomato sauce. So again equal quantities of your flour and butter mixed together and it's cooked a little longer than a white roux but without, color, uh, without colouring to a sandy texture. Okay. And then finally here we have our brown roux. Okay. Our espagnole is used for brown sauces, again soups, stews and things like that. So again then we have, it's uh, cooked a little bit longer again than from the other two um, until it get a light brown colour. Please remember there that you don't overcook your brown roux because the starch can change chemically and you can lose some of its thick and thickening properties. Okay? This will cause the fat to separate from the roux and rise to the surface of your super sauce being made. Um, if we want to talk then a little bit just moving forward from our roux where do we see these? So we see these generally in our industrial kitchens or um, in your um, food operations for thickening uh, items. But what you have to remember is that uh, with allergens and things like that and people intolerances and stuff like that, we're starting to move away from um, roux based sauces, roux based soups and stuff like that. And you'll see a lot of the commercial market then, they've made all their soups and sauces generally gluten free. So we don't see this as much maybe as we used to and we don't use it as much as we used to. But it's still the backbone um, of a professional kitchen. It's something that you need to be aware of. And I just wanted to introduce you today to the three friends which are the white, the blonde and the brown. I hope you've liked this video today. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we'll speak to you soon again.